Hey there, this is Justin Stone Diaz, and this is day 26 of my Real Happiness Power of Meditation 28 day challenge that I'm participating in. Um, yeah, just got back from a weekend retreat with Sharon and Robert Thurman up at Menla Mountain, up in the Catskills, um, which was really an amazing experience. Um, yeah, it was just very, um, it was very packed for me. Um, I was a member of the community up there for about five um, summers and I worked for Tibet House for a number of years. Um, and so I used to live up on that property. Um, so during the, the retreat, a lot came up and um, I was able to spend some time on the property and visit some of my favorite spots and um, I'm just noticing that a lot of parts of my practice from over the years are finally coming together um, but it's only through this 28 day challenge that's that's been happening um, yeah it's and also um remembering that my spiritual practices are not limited to meditation or mindful meditation, um, that a lot of my teachers come from indigenous cultures and the indigenous um, spiritual traditions. Um, so being up in um, the Catskills in the woods again brought a lot of that back. Um, and it's just really amazing how easy it is for me to forget things. Um, the one thing I always really liked about um, some of the Dzogchen teachings um, that I've gotten and the most clear um, Dharma teachings I've gotten personally are the ones that have impacted me the most are the ones that describe um, enlightenment as a remembering that um, individuals are already enlightened and the illusion is, is that we are not enlightened. Um, so um, visiting the place where I did a lot of spiritual work um, during this retreat really brought back a lot of things. Um, I've had a lot of great Huna teachers, a couple Native American teachers. So my um, spiritual practice or my spiritual toolbox is um, very diverse. And for several years I pursued f fairly vigorously um, Ken Wilber's um, philosophy and integral perspective um, and being up at Menla Mountain where a lot of my practices were dependent on physical environment um, yeah Hawaiian Huna practices the um, place is a very important thing in the practices um, so being back up in at the location where a lot of my spiritual progress and spiritual journey has happened um, made me remember a lot of things and it's it was just very useful to um have that nurturing retreat environment to explore that the um retreat um in the beginning bob did a did a meditation that's known as a guru meditation in the um, loving kindness meditation the audio recording that sharon does she does a version of it where you when you start transmitting loving kindness to others um, that's a, a form of the guru yoga where you're or the jewel tree of Tibet where you're visualizing people and sending them energy um, there's also it's also known as tong, tong lin or um, giving and receiving um, practice um, which I've been practicing for many years um, so it was really cool having all that come together um, so my Huna teachers will be really proud that um, I'm remembering that the dumb howlies um, finally um, listening. So yeah, um, Sharon did a live tweet chat today that I participated in and got to hear some great points brought up about mindfulness meditation. Um, and then also checked out the discussion that's wrapping up the 28 day meditation on the Facebook page of Hay House. Ah, J Train.
Yeah, um, Hay House is finishing up the discussion on their Facebook page. So Sharon did a live um, discussion, um, and a lot of the points she brought up were really amazing. Um, yeah, so if you haven't checked out the um, Hay House discussion page yet, you really should, um, especially the the section of from the live discussion that happened today. Um, yeah, um, I will see you online and um, see you on the mat. And don't forget to um, comment and get me and get in touch with me through Twitter. I'd love to connect. Um, yeah.